Rico. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, greetings to all of you, uh, particularly the government employees. I'm doing this video just to provide a context and clarity, uh, particularly on the post that I made uh, with regards to GIPF. I've been receiving a lot of calls from many people. Uh, some of them are, are concerned and some of them are really suffering. You know, there's a lot of people who, who are suffering. And in fact, a majority of government employees, they, 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 when you look at their pay slips eh, and what they are getting uh, after the, the loans and all those other things, and they take the same frustration in that there's been no deliberate effort on the part of government and those that represent the employees of government to understand really the suffering and, and, and the problems that the government employees are facing. And this is the context in which we are having this discussion about the, the GIPF. People were saying, yeah, read the Patients Act, what what the rules and what what. No, as revolutionaries, we don't operate on the basis of, of the rules. We operate on bringing about fundamental and the revolutionary change for our people. Uh, we are not necessarily concerned about the rules and then we analyze things and say, are the masses of our people benefiting from a given scenario? Are the masses of our people, their needs and aspirations and their fears, are they taken into consideration by those in power? That is how we operate. It is a, the example is that we decide, for instance, that people must eat and food must come to people to eat. It is not our responsibility on seeing how the spoons are arranged on the, on the table. It is not our responsibility on the sequence of, of, of which plate or which pot must be used first. We decide at the policy level, at the, at the, at the bigger level, that this is what should happen. We are saying the, the, this thing of GIPV that people make a contribution in order to benefit, isn't it? The aspect of benefit, even by definition, has a, a, an element of proportionality. In other words, you get something that you do not have, or you get something as an improvement or, or profit or whatever, something that you get additionally. Either you do not have it or it's an improvement. So benefit must be to the benefits. To, 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 to make life easier, yeah? to, to give, give more opportunities and whatever it is to the person that is, uh, that is having. So what we are interrogating is that who is actually benefiting from GIPF? That's a fundamental question we are asking, particularly to government employees. Who is benefiting? Yeah? You, every month, as a government employee, you make a contribution to GIPF. Okay? Then what does GIPF do? GIPF knows that it waits for you to either die or for you to turn 60. Okay? But in the meantime, what does GIPF do? GIPF takes your money and give it to other people to make their money. In fact, we'll come back to that. And in fact, our analysis of, of what GIPF does is exactly what the missionaries used to do. What do missionaries used to do? Missionaries used to preach in the churches and say, black people, must accept their poverty, must accept colonialism, must accept the suffering. Because even Jesus was clapped on one cheek and gave the other. They must accept their suffering because they are going to benefit from heaven. They are going to be imaginary rewards on heaven. So they must not worry about their condition on, on earth because they are going to benefit uh, later. Now, what did uh, black preachers did? Revolutionary pastors and the revolutionary Christians, what did they say? They said, no, 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 no. What type of God that allows people to suffer? The preachers and the pastors and the religious people started saying, no, we can't have a situation whereby we accept the suffering. God must be an understanding God. God must be a God that can understand that our pain and suffering, we cannot just be waiting for the rewards in heaven. That is why the notion of black liberation theology came into being. Why did black liberation theology come into being? It's because to say that, no, black people need to be liberated from oppression. That is why the revolutionary change and fighting against colonialism and the suffering of the people was brought to the center stage. And they rejected that notion of accepting the suffering because apparently heaven is going to solve all their problems later. That is why the church became central in the support for freedom and justice for our people. So GIPF says to people, no, you are going to benefit when you turn 60. They, look, what is the life expectancy? Of the people in this country. Some of you, you, can you imagine, your whole time you work for government, you are a police officer, you are a soldier or whatever you are, you, you stay in a shed, then you wait to turn 60 in order to buy, to, to buy a house. When you turn 60. Yeah? So it is the same thing of waiting at the later stage for you to deprive benefits when you can get benefits now. 
Groove Mall was built with GIPF money. Yeah? So you as a government employee make a contribution to government to, to GIPF. GIPF takes the money and give to Safran and Safran build Groove Mall. Washamba Mall in Ondangwa. Washamba Mall in Ondangwa was built with uh, GIPF money. Some people take GIPF money and they build flats. Government employees rent from them. So why are we saying that the benefits of GIPF is on retirement when there are other people who are benefiting through the so-called unlisted investment that is given only to the cronies and people who are connected to these elites? It is the same approach of the missionaries because the missionaries and the whites were benefiting. Yeah? We're benefiting from colonialism, but black people must wait in heaven. So those so-called unlisted investment, first capital, Southland, and all those other things, they are benefiting now from GIPF. Why can't government employees benefit now? It is so bad to an extent that young people, I've seen many young people who get married, teachers and soldiers, and, and why is it that you find most of the time teachers and soldiers are marrying one another? Because their salaries are, are, are very close so that once they combine, they are able to afford housing. So it's a situation is so bad. That is why we are saying, we are not saying people must, uh, the government workers must be allowed to borrow money in order to do gambling or to buy cars. No, we are saying housing. Allow them to, to, to borrow against their pension. Yeah? So that they can build their houses now. How can we be a country where people only build houses after they turn 60? Why can't they build their houses now when they are... In fact, most women at 60, they are unable to produce children. They are grand, 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 grandparents. The need of housing is now. And, and if you, you work so hard for 40 years, you die when you are 59. Yeah, you die when you are 59. And then you have 10 kids and a wife. And your pension is maybe 800,000. What is going to happen? Each kid maybe gets uh, only just about 80,000, 80,000. And, and remember, the patient must also be taxed. You have worked hard. You have been suffering and all those things. And maybe one of your kids is a drunkard and the money is not utilized. And they continue to suffer again. But had you built a house, because now once you die, all those kids must be given uh, the, 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 their percentage of your pension. So 800,000 is going to be aggregated amongst all of them. And they go in separate ways and use their money in whatever way they want to, to use it. But had you built a house, you would have left a house for them. So this is a, this is a fundamental problem that we're having. And this is what we need to tell the people. GIPF, GIPF bought 25% of Capricorn, the company that owns Bank Window. So that basically means that GIPF owns a bank. So the last time I checked the statistics, all banks, including Bank Window in this country, their profit, more than 50, uh, more, between 40 and 50% of their profit come from housing bonds. So, GIPF does not want to enter direct housing and to assist people to access housing, housing because they, 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 they need to have people going to their bank, the, the bank that they own. So, this is the absolute nonsense that we, we are saying that it, uh, this thing should be, should be challenged. And the workers over the years have been sold by this NAPU and all this, you know, because the leaders of NAPU are sitting in the central committee of swap inflation has been going up over the past four years but government employees have never got even a, a single increase because these guys are sitting there attending congress uh, of swap or shouting viva viva hage and viva viva swap and all those things when they're supposed to be fighting for the workers so this is a fundamental problem that we want our people to get housing because gipf could even say directly the same way they went to look for shares for for the gipf could even say that no we need to, local authority, can you give us plots? We as people in local authority, we can give plots to GIPF and they save us and they are able to do. We are going to establish a revolutionary union to liberate the workers of government and fight for, for the workers to get, to get their benefits now, not when they are 60. They must benefit housing now. We can't have 60-year-old pensioners that are building houses after 60. No, we, we, we shouldn't have. The pensioners must be traveling as tourists with their pension. Now they use their pension for housing and to settle cars because they, they have just been working as slaves. So don't worry about all those criticism. We are steadfast. We are going to continue and we are going forward. We are not going to, uh, to, to, to be concerned about all this distraction. Remain on course as government employees. You are not going to be waiting for heaven or you are not going to be waiting for 60. GIPF must be forced to reform so that you are able to access housing now, not through banks of Ben Windhoek, First Capital and others. If others are benefiting from GIPF money is now, why can't the workers?
benefit if we can give housing to soldiers, to the police, to the teachers, and to the uh, civil servants. And they, they, are, they are enjoying their benefit as politicians. So this is for you as government employees, just to provide clarity, uh, continue with that conversation. We need to fight on. Once we fight on, we, we must get, because if we can solve the housing problems, if, our, if, if government employees can get, we are going to have solved a housing uh, situation uh, very well. Thank you. Keep the conversation going.